welcome to fall 2024 business 210 microsoft 365 excel statistical analysis now the great thing about this class is we are not going to use handheld calculators and paper to do our statistics we're going to use the number one app in the business world excel excel makes doing statistics fun and easy not only that you don't have to buy a textbook for this class. You don't have to buy a textbook code to get into the textbook's website. I create all the content. No, you don't have to buy an expensive textbook. I made the website here. This is different than Canvas. I created all the lecture videos, Excel workbooks, handouts, and tests. Now, this is where all the action is going to happen at our people.highline.edu mgervin website. However, we will have to use Canvas. In the home area of Canvas, the only thing we're using this area for is when you want to come and upload a finished Excel test. That's it. That's the only thing here. Test 1 upload, test 2 to upload, and so on. I will make announcements every week. Discussions, well, you can ask me a question anytime. You can phone me. You can come to my office. You can email me. You can also post questions about Excel and statistics here in the discussion area at Canvas. Now, this is not required. Also, well, of course, once you hand a test in, I grade it, then you can come to grades and look at your scores. Now, let's go back over to where all the action is going to happen, people.highline.edu. Now, before we take a tour and look at where the lecture videos are, the Excel downloadable workbooks, handouts, and tests, let's go look at our syllabus. I'm going to click. At the top of the syllabus is a table of contents, and it's hyperlinked. So if you want to jump straight to the schedule, we click, and there's our schedule. Now, this schedule is not over in Canvas. There's hardly anything over there. All the action is here. So when you want to see what's happening each week, you come to the syllabus at the end, and here's our schedule. Now, for the first week, all you have to do is study the syllabus, watch this introductory video, and obtain access to a PC computer with Microsoft 365 Excel. Yes, that means no Macs, no Chromebooks. That is not what is used in the business world. It's a Windows-based PC computer that the business world uses, and so that's what we teach you here at Highline. So you have that first week to get everything in order, so when we get to September 30th, we're ready to have fun and gain power with Excel and statistics. Now, just to remind you, when you signed up for this class, either the online or the hybrid, Either one, it said right down here, must have a PC computer with Microsoft 365 Excel. Contact Highline Help Desk before the quarter starts if you want to borrow a computer for the quarter. And when you study the syllabus this first week on page three, there's the link directly to check out a computer. And here's the link if you already have a PC Windows-based computer, but you need Microsoft 365 Excel. There's a free download for students. Here is the link. Now let's start at the top of our syllabus. You study this, but I'm just going to show you a couple things. Here is an important note, and I'm going to read it to you. Note about this video class that does not require you to buy a textbook. This class used to require that you buy a textbook, but I changed it so that you don't have to waste your money buying overpriced textbooks. However, I filmed some of the video lectures for this class before I got rid of the textbook. In the videos you hear me talk about textbook, you can ignore those parts. In the videos you hear me talk about chapters in the textbooks, or you'll see parts of the website that are in the video that say chapters. When you see or hear that, the new term that I'm using at the website and as part of the Excel file names is sections. So instead of chapters, I'll say sections. For example, instead of studying chapter one, we'll be studying section one. In addition, the old Excel files that I used to use had the extension .xlsm. I changed that. So now we're going to use the more polite and easy to use extension .xlsx. 
Now, it really doesn't matter which one you use, but I'm going to refer to .xlsx as the new Excel file extension. For example, for section one of this class, the Excel file we used to use for videos one to four was named chapter one, Excel statistical analysis .xlm. But now I'm going to say section one, Excel statistical analysis .xlsx. This slight confusion is the price we have to pay for not having to buy expensive textbooks. Now here's my information. You can phone me, you can email me, you can come to my office. I love it when people come to my office and ask questions. It's more fun that way anyway. Now office hours are listed as 11 to 1.30 in either my office, 29307, or the computer lab across the hall from my office, 308. Now if you can't make this time, just send me an email or phone me and make an appointment some other time between Monday and Saturday. I'm happy to meet with students. And in fact, I'm on campus a lot of the time filming videos and creating this content, so I'm available a lot, sometimes even in the morning, the evening, or on Saturday. Now, the rest of this you can read through. One thing that is important in the business world, if you can have a full keyboard. That means with the F keys at the top and the number pad, it's much easier to do statistics and, and basically everything in business with this type of keyboard. Unfortunately, a lot of us have a laptop like this. Even I have my laptop. No number pad, so it's harder to enter numbers. And if you want to access the very important F keys, you have to use the FN or FX button to access those. Now, luckily, the first video in this class, I show you a cool trick to switch so you don't have to use this FX button. Now, on page five and six, this is all about grading. Very importantly, when you go to look at your scores at Canvas, Canvas gradebook is not correct. Well, the scores are correct, but not the percentages. Those percentages are based on only completed assignments. And this is true in all your classes. If there's eight assignments and you have six completed and it says 90%, that is not correct. So in Canvas, look at the scores, but not the percentages. Here's grading. I'll let you look through that. Let's jump to the end. I'm going to use the end key. Well, not that far to the end. Let me scroll up a little bit. Here's our schedule at the end of the syllabus. All right, our schedule, week two, September 30th, there's the topic. One, two, three, four videos to watch and study and follow along. We'll look at where that is in just a moment at our People website. And hybrid class is scheduled Tuesday and Thursday, 10 a.m. to 10.50 in 29.308. This is an open lab. There's no lecture. You study those videos at home. Practice the homework problems if you want, even working on the test. You can bring that all to this open lab. And actually, even if you're in the online class, you're welcome to come to this open lab. And don't forget also, you can schedule some other time if you want to meet about the content, a test, or whatever else it is. Now, I will email out the tests. There are eight Excel statistic tests. They're going to be just like what you practice, what you see in the video, and in the homework. I'm going to email it out for week two, Friday, October 4th. It's due a few days later, before midnight, Monday, October 7th. Then week three, there's the topic, there's the videos, there's the open lab. That's when I email out the test. That's when it's due. All right, so I'll let you look through that. I'm going to click the back button. Now, here at our People website, there's section one all the way to section 10. The schedule at the end of our syllabus says, hey, section one, that's what we're studying in week two. So I'm going to click one, two, three different parts, download files. These are the files that you will use while practicing what you see in the video. These are the video links. They jump you over to YouTube. And then at the bottom, it reminds you, after you're finished studying the video lectures, if you want some extra practice, there's some homework problems. Now, this is an Excel file. It has the description of the homework right there. You complete it, and there's an answer right there, so you can check your work. 
Now, before you watch the videos, you download the files, because you have the file open, and then you watch the video while following along. Now, the good news is, the first video here, I remind you how to fix the F keys if you're on a laptop. And then video number one, I take you through carefully how to download, what to name the files, and what folder to create where you are going to save all of your files for this class. Then you download, watch a video. Now let's click on the first video. It jumps you over to YouTube. Now you all know how to watch a YouTube video. You actually have a rewind button on your instructor. If you didn't get it the first time, just rewind. But check this out. Below every video, there's a more, sometimes it says show more, link. When you click, it opens up a time hyperlink table of contents. Now, when you watch the video the first time, you watch it straight through. You practice what you see. But later, when you're doing a test or you're out there in your job and you forget how to do something, there it is. There's all the topics from the video. You simply click. This one defines cross-sectional and time series data. I click. It's also cross-sectional data and time series data. And there it is. It jumps right to that section of the video. So I'm going to click the Back button. You download these files first, watch the videos. When you're done, there's some homework for you to practice, including answers. And then here's PDF notes. It's just a written and pictorial summary of everything for this section of the class. Click the Back button. Section 2, there it is. There's the files, there's the videos, and there's a reminder, hey, you can do homework for practice. Now, all of the work you do while watching the video and the homework you don't hand it in. It reminds you right here. It's practice for the test. And where do we find out when the test is sent out and when it's due? Syllabus. Click the schedule, that fourth column right there. All right, this is going to be an awesome fall 2024 quarter studying Excel and statistics. All right, we'll see you next video.